Hey guys, so I'm back with a video today and I'm going to share with you guys my empties. First off, it is super weird to kind of just hoard a bag of trash in your room. Um, I'm waiting for somebody to come in and be like, Girl, you need to take your trash out. But um, anyways, I've been accumulating all these items. I don't think I have any really makeup items. Um, I think it's mostly like hair and kind of body hair stuff, maybe a few makeup items. But I'm just going to jump right into it. And um, also I have a haul video up that I posted not that long ago. So if you guys are interested in that, I will have a link down below. And then after this, I am actually going to be posting, what is it? A Get Ready With Me. Um, and it is featuring the Naked 3 palette. So all of you girls who like more neutral everyday kind of looks, that would definitely be for you. So keep a lookout for that. Um, it is Sunday. <sighs> Fix my shirt. It is Sunday and um, I don't work today. I'm actually on my way to the Orange County Fair and I'm going to a concert, so super excited for that. But anyways, let's just jump right into the empties. So I'm just gonna kind of grab, can you hear all these empty jugs? Um, first I have these Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. These are the travel ones. I do buy them in bulk from Costco. If you are obsessed with these like I am, these are the only makeup wipes that I use. I highly suggest going to Costco. They give you, I think, like four of the refillable packs. I do have like the actual plastic container that you put them in, so I like to buy those to put them inside, but you don't need the box, I just have it. Um, and then it comes with two of the travel sized ones, and I think it's like $12. If you were to go to CVS or Walmart or Target, one pack of the actual refillable thing is like $8. So it is definitely, definitely going to save you money. So again, if you're obsessed with these, go to Target. Find somebody who has a Target, or Target, really? Find somebody who has a Costco card if you go to Costco. Yeah, I hope I said Costco. Anyways, go to Costco, buy them in bulk, and you will save tons of money. Um, okay, so let's see. I have an Aussie Moist Conditioner. I buy my shampoo and conditioners like in the huge um, size because I have a lot of hair and I go through shampoo and conditioner like crazy, mostly conditioner like every other girl. You have shampoo, you run out of conditioner, and you go buy conditioner and you run out of shampoo. Story of my life. Um, so this is the Aussie Moist. I love the way Aussie products smell. Um, and then I also have the Moist 3 Minute Miracle Deep Treatment. I like to use this for my hair. I'm trying to get it healthy. Um, I have dyed my hair a lot in the past. I know Aussie is probably not the best hair care products to use. Um, I'm not really into expensive hair care products. I probably should try some new things though. Again, I'm trying to get my hair back to being healthy. It is a little dry at the ends. I don't know if you can tell. Um, but I like the way Aussie products smell, so I love this stuff. And then I have a shampoo. This is the Suave Humectant, <laughs> Humectant Moisture Shampoo. Um, and this is for dry hair. It smells amazing. And it says it's compar comparable to the Nexus brand. Um, I have heard of that brand. Again, I've never tried it, but I liked it. It got the job done. It washed my hair. It was good. Here is a Tresemme Fresh Dark Dry Shampoo. I'm obsessed with dry shampoo. However, this one is for, for fine, oily hair. I have really thick hair, um, so I feel like it didn't do as great of a job. Um, I have tried the Bumble and Bumble Dry Shampoo, a sample of it, and I loved it. So I'm thinking of working out the money to buy that because I love dry shampoo. I don't wash my hair every day. You're not supposed to. Um, but again, I do have really thick hair and this didn't really do it for me. I did like it. I have bought a few. I actually have another backup of this that I'm currently using. Um, but I do want to try something else. So if you guys have a dry shampoo that you love, please let me know. Because um, again, I don't have fine hair. I have thick hair. So it did work. It just didn't work as well as I hoped it did. But it's pretty empty. No polish remover. This is the CVS brand. No polish remover. It worked perfectly fine for me. I usually buy the huge... Um, ones from like Sally's or any beauty supply place and it's pure acetone but I was kind of like in a rush and I really needed no polish remover so I bought this and it worked just fine um, but for the price it was um, to be honest no I don't remember how much this was I want to say it was no more than five dollars but it's a pretty big bottle it worked just as well for me as any other nail polish remover um, and I change my nail polish every two to three days so I go through nail polish remover like crazy um, so I often buy the huge bottles. So I really like this. I mean, it worked fine. It wasn't terrible or anything. I have had um, 
I have tried nail polish removers where it just didn't take it off and I had to sit there and scrub and go out my nails and I hate that. Um, so it was alright. It wasn't terrible or anything. Um, this is a body shop Pe Vineyard Peach Cream Body Scrub. I think I may have featured this or talked about this in a haul video or a favorites video a while back. I think I've had this since last summer. Um, I kind of washed it out just because I had it in this bag and I didn't want it to leak everywhere. The smell is amazing. It's such a summery scent. The peach, I'm obsessed with the body shop. Their body butters, um, their body, uh, what is it, like shower gels and their lotions smell amazing. Um, and I did, I did really like this body scrub. However, I wish it had more of these scrub kind of granules in it. Since this one was a cream body scrub, it had like, um, you know, obviously like a peach colored cream mixed in with the scrub. And I just wanted something a little bit more abrasive to kind of really get that um, dead skin off. I obviously used the whole thing, so I really liked it, but I just really wish it had more of a scrub in it. I know that they have a strawberry one and it isn't a cream scrub. I think it's just a regular scrub. So I definitely want to try that. I have the strawberry body butter and it is probably my favorite um, summer scent for lotion. The strawberry smells divine. And they have a coconut one that I really, really want to get. Um, and then for my face, I actually use their tea tree toner, which I love. I'm almost running low out of it. It's not empty, so I'm not putting it in this video. But um, I liked it. It wasn't good. I don't know if I would repurchase the peach one, just because, again, it was like a cream scrub. But I definitely want to try the strawberry one. Uh, next is a tiny little body gel I was running super low on my body gel and I remembered I had this like a little sample I have a drawer of like samples that I have um, and I didn't have time to go to the store so I just grabbed this and I used this for a few days until I was able to go buy more this is the caress endless skin or endless kiss um, body what is this body body wash hello um, and it is a creamy vanilla and sandalwood vanilla is probably my favorite scent favorite favorite Vanilla is probably my favorite scent. I can't talk. And um, I love pretty much vanilla. I'm a kind of simple kind of girl with scents. Um, vanilla is classic. I liked this. I didn't find it as moisturizing, um, but the scent smelled good. And I'm down to my last two products. Um, this is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer with SPF 15. I've talked about this in a few of my videos. This is my favorite um, morning moisturizer. Still recording. This is my favorite morning moisturizer. Um, if you watched my haul video, um, again, it's right before this one. I'll link it down below. I did get a new one because this one is completely done. Um, and this is my Holy Grail moisturizer. Actually, I can probably... No, there's nothing much in here. <laughs> um, I use this every single morning. I love that it has the SPF in it because it helps protect my face. If you have not tried Cetaphil, I highly recommend it. It's for all skin types. Um, it is oil free and it just, it's such a great daytime moisturizer. It doesn't leave your skin greasy at all. So love this. And last is my only beauty product. I have so many beauty products that I feel like I don't go through them as much. Um, but this is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural and she's Yes, I called it a she. She is completely gone. Um, I've totally hit pan. I don't know if you can see why it's a little bright. This was my favorite just everyday powder. I am trying some different everyday kind of basic pressed powders uh, right now. I'm kind of experimenting, but I love this. I will definitely repurchase. I've gone through tons of these, and I love this. It is a little pricey for a basic powder, but I feel like it just leaves my skin so smooth, so soft. It can never look cakey or powdery with this powder powdery with this powder yeah um so yeah that's all of my empties um i hope you guys like i will be posting my next video is going to be a tutorial on an everyday look featuring the naked three palette so again all of you ladies who love your natural looks i know i do um go ahead and keep your eyes pulled for eyes pulled for that i'm going to do that soon also talking really fast i talk really fast um, also, I did just film this look. I think it's just a great everyday daytime summer look. I'm obsessed with this lip color. I think it's going to be my new, like, this is going to be like my summer lip color. Um, I'm going to be filming soon a favorites, a current favorites. I don't film favorites every month just because I feel like I don't have enough products every month to go through. Um, but when I feel that I have been really grabbing or gravitating towards certain products is when I will film a current products, current favorites 
products video so I'm going to be filming that soon I have my list already in my phone of all the things that I know that I've been grabbing um, which will definitely include this um, but again I did film this makeup look so that will be out soon at some point um, after my Naked 3 tutorial so if you guys are interested also follow me on Instagram it is Instagram at Margo or Duna underscore makeup I will go ahead and put my Instagram name down below so if you guys want to follow me go ahead and do that and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later bye